and welcome to my channel this is Sana in this video I am going to share with you how you can easily and super quick to prepare the crunchiest uh, pickle onion uh, very easy very delicious and full of flavor and super healthy so let's head to my kitchen and I show you the tips and secrets of making your onions super crunchy in order to make our onions super crunchy, these are the steps that you need to follow. First, I'm going to tell you that I am using almost half kg of shallots, as small as your onions are, as delicious they will be and as crunchy they will be. So try to use shallots or small onions. A tip for peeling the onions easily so you can do it faster it doesn't take a lot of time from you and it just burns your eyes less is that you can just soak them for 10 to 15 minutes in warm water and then start peeling them off this way is faster and your eyes will burn less for half a kg of shallots or any onion any kind of onion we are going to add two cups of mineral water or distilled water inside a pot to this we are going to add three cups of apple cider vinegar i am using the organic apple cider vinegar so my vinegar had the mother at the bottom that's why it just came into the water there is no problem at all to this we are going to add one tablespoon of salt cover it and under the high heat bring it to the boil once it's boiling remove it from the heat now as you see the mixture is already boiled now we are going to add all of our onions for five minutes inside the mixture of the hot water and vinegar and let it sit there for five minutes set them aside meanwhile we are going to prepare our container where we want to keep our pickles i am using uh, for the aroma and flavor dried mint I add a tablespoon of dry mint at the bottom also I'm adding a few pieces of garlic this is totally optional if you would like to add I love garlic and after five minutes we are going to transfer our onions inside our container until it's full after five minutes we are removing the onions and start filling the container i add more garlic in between as i said is optional I'm going to add uh, a bit more onion so that all my container will be full. I'm going to add three more, almost a small size onion so that my container will be full. I'm going to let them sit for five minutes and then transfer them into my container. Now I'm going to add these as well, one by one, because they are a, big, a bit bigger. Okay, still there is a space but uh, we are going to fill any space remaining in your container with extra vinegar that's not a problem at all if there is a space remaining so what we are going to do next we are going to add another tablespoon of dry mint and we are going to add the leftover mixture of the water and vinegar inside our jar In case you used all of your mixture of water and vinegar inside your jar and yet your jar is still is empty and it's not filled don't worry you can use uh, just normal vinegar apple cider vinegar just pour over until your jar is filled with liquid so once it is filled we are going to 
close it the way that there is no air inside so what I'm going to do is that I have a piece of plastic I'm going to press it until it will touch my liquid so I know that there is no air left inside and then I'm gonna close it so I'm going to close it and then we are going to leave this one in a dark and warm place for two weeks until it's done you can keep it longer uh, as warmer your place is the faster your pickle will be ready they will turn out to be super crunchy so much yummy and full of flavor which you can enjoy it every single day that's it for today i see you soon